Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and today we are playing the song Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And uh, today I want to show you this FAMAS, the FFAR one in Call of Duty Cold War. And the FAMAS is a underrated weapon. So the FAMAS does a lot of damage, uh, long range, and short range. It has a high fire rate, so it's really good at short range. And at long range, you do have to like tap it a little bit. You don't have, you can't just like spray it like the XM4. You do have to do like tap it a bit, but it does a lot of damage at long range, especially with what I've got. If you do want to skip it to the actual gameplay, there'll be a little timestamp on screen right now. But for the attachments we have, we have the infantry compensator. Now this basically gives us plus 12 vertical recoil. So yeah, very nice to have. For the takedown, we have the plus 150% effective damage range. So basically, it's an AR, we do more damage at range, so 150% extra damage on range, nice. Next we have the field agent grip, this gives us a plus vertical recoil control and 20% horizontal recoil control, nice to have. And the best magazine is always the last one, this is the Salvo 44 round fast mag. This gives us 76% magazine ammo capacity, 35% of real aid quickness. 76% max start on ammo and 76% ammo capacity. And last but not least, with the handling, we have airborne elastic wrap. This gives us aim down sight speed of 30%, a flinch resistance of 90%, and you also can drop shot with this if you really want to. Obviously, drop shot ain't as good, but uh, yeah, these are the perks that I use. Uh, flat jacket and tactical mask, just really OP combination that I recommend yeah, you using if you are not having like five attachments or something like that. So, we've got a nice map here. We've got a uh, crossroad strike. First, we do have a level 100. I'm trying not to get scared by people's levels because I was recently with a level 100 and he was not that good. Like that. There's his head. There's his head. Lobby C4 over there. There's you dead. There's always someone head glitch on there. There's you dead. Good at especially at that range anyway. But still. There's just a guy right over there. There he is. Right, this shreds him. Little tip, right there. Look, see, little tip right there, guys. When you're putting your armor on, literally, you can literally cancel the animation and it still gives you armor. So, I'll show you again if I get armor again. Like, if you saw there, that helped me out a lot. By canceling the animation out. Don't on B. You can just easily just watch him. They'll just keep running to you because it's B. They're gonna just keep running at B. Just make sure I just saw a guy. Oh, get off there, mate! Get off there. Stop head glitching there. There's that triple. We'll get more. Yep, yeah, we'll get more. Alright, okay. There's there's the end of that. There's a little nice little Fiori kill there. Drop a field mark right here. But see how OP this weapon is. This weapon is an insane weapon. It is so underrated. Like I barely see people use this weapon. This weapon is so much more better than the XM4. In my opinion, like you got more fire rate on this. With this build, you have like not much recoil. Right, I know there's probably a guy in this corner here. Yeah, too predictable. People are too predictable in this. Like when I play a lot, people are too predictable when capping the flags. They are probably like, especially in this one, they're always in that corner. There'll probably be someone peeking out here in a minute, and there's going to be someone on this box. Yep, told you. See. Too predictable. Too predictable. That's a tip that I want to give you guys is just don't be predictable. Now I know I normally go in this advantage spot where I am right now all the time, but that's because it's a really good advantage spot. Now 
I try and not go there all the time because people will start picking up, especially in like uh, high end game. Surprisingly, this level 100 is not doing as good as I thought it would. But if you see here, this is such an advantage spot right here because you can watch both areas and you're still kind of blocked off from that little barricade right there, from that concrete. So it's a really good advantage spot to go because you can watch straight into their spawn. Now, I don't like spawn on this side, but there's another spot that I like going in on this side, but it's very good. Like being in the B area is just a really good advantage area. The Famas is it's just, it's just an insane weapon, the Famas is. The Famas is an insane weapon. I, I'm really surprised. Not many more people do use it. Look, see, he's going to be on this advantage point now. Look, see how I had to tap it a bit for that long range. Look, he's going to be behind here. There's literally been... Okay, okay, I couldn't have done anything about that. It's a napalm. I couldn't have done anything about that. Nope. Alright, so let's just wait till these push. There's you gone. Let's just cap B. There's you gone. I'm pretty sure there's another one over here. Yep, sniper. Man, is that, is that an AC gunship out of a flipping care package, man? A streak to use. Because literally, anyone can get a care package. Especially with a new score streak system anyway. Anyone can get a, uh, a care package. Anyone can get a care package with a new uh, score streak system. Because literally, even if you die, you can still get a, like, a, a kill streak. That's why I use somewhat high... Uh, kill streaks, especially now there's cooldowns as well. There's cooldowns on score streaks. That's why I use like armor and uh, war machine. I do sometimes have gunship on. It just depends on how I'm feeling on playing. If I want to be like rush, rush around, then I'll use the gunship. I'll use the war machine and armor and UAV. UAV obviously the best, like literally the best kill streak, score streak, whatever you want to call it, in the game in my opinion. It's been in the games literally since COD 4 and literally there's nothing wrong with having uh, information. The more information you have on the map the more easy it's going to be to actually find someone. So field mark for example, that's a really good one to have because you can just know where they are unless they are using ninja. Now obviously they is there, it won't work against them, like ninja doesn't work, you basically if you have ninja on then uh, field might doesn't detect them. If you have, uh, I think it's ghost or cold blooded, then UAVs don't detect you. So that's my spot. Right. So here, for example, if I use my armor, right, I'll use it as soon as I see the blue thing. I press Y. That basically just gets rid of the whole animation of putting the actual armor pack into your like chest area or whatever. And it is a lot more better than having to wait. Because obviously, if you if you're on B, then you want to make sure you're not. I like exposed that anyway, so. So, a really good tip right there that I recommend a lot of people using. Alright, War Machine. Another thing that annoys me is how, literally, if you have Flat Jacket on, you are. You have to take two shots with the War Machine. What I personally think is stupid. Because then you have, then it's literally, it's literally a kill streak. You sh it shouldn't be any um, disadvantage of using a kill streak, especially flat jacket as well. Now, what do you understand? Flat jacket makes it so kill streak uh, grenades aren't basically can't like one shot by a grenade basically. But from a kill streak, that that shouldn't be a thing. Where is this guy? And that shouldn't be a thing with kill streaks at all. Oh, we're just beamed. We're going off this game, man. We're going off. There's you. Oh no, we didn't even kill you. Like, that's a, that's a really good advantage point to go. Is it was right there where I go. Dropping the sticks to bomb this game. Really good game this has been. I love this map. This map is a really good, especially for domination. Especially for domination, I love this map. Because you could just easily just spawn trap them. Obviously, you do have to be careful with uh, spawn protection what can be definitely really annoying spawn protection can be but yeah that was actually a really good game that game that was actually a really good game we had 62 and 26 that's not bad to be honest and we got killer the game again let's see here we've got the guy off B we were beamed uh, Crytek right there slay in got him went to the advantage point got him oh no I thought I got him oh if we got him that would have been sick and uh, yeah, we've used to have a score. 
I can tell my next game is not going to be good. Yeah, that's basically been the end of the video. Hope you guys did like this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.